All right, recently I did a, a big clean out somebody's house. Uh, it was just a whole bunch of stuff, all different kinds of stuff. Basically dump, bring it to the dump, bring it to the scrap yard, and then bring it home. Uh, there was some wood. I don't know if you watched that trailer video you saw at the end. I had a whole bunch of, you know, wood that I chopped up and uh, I'm using it in the fireplace. Um, giving it to some people because there was a bunch of it. But actually the fire is going right now with some of that wood. But uh, but uh, a few of the things that I was like, ah, oh, should I, th they said throw it out. And I was like, I don't know if I should throw this out. It looks like this is fixable. Uh, a few of the things I still have and I think we need to try and fix them and if we can fix them, they'll be useful. So the first thing is uh, this power washer over here. Let me show you this thing. All right, this Ryobi, these things, this is not that old. I mean, it can't be, it's definitely not 10 years old. It may, may be less than five years old. And it says it doesn't work anymore. They bought a new one. So, uh, I mean, this wand, I mean, it looks brand spanking new. All right, let's plug this thing in and see what happens. I mean, it's electric, so I mean, it's kind of, there's not really much to these electric ones. Okay. Well, there's an LED on this on button right here. <clears throat> and it's not lit up. So if you look here, we've got a green light, so seems like it's getting power, but power's not even making it to this light, to the on-off switch. So these GFCI plugs here, this, well, okay, so pushing this test button, that should shut the breaker off. You know, it allows you to test the GFCI. Now it says it's, it's green, but the test is not working. Well, that's weird. Press reset for use, it says, well, that doesn't do anything either. Right? I'm looking at it. I don't see anything on there. Well, I... Well, all right, let's... Well, I don't know. I mean, I, let's, let's take off this GFCI and put a new one on. I, I, I probably got a spare one of these things. All right, hey, let's go. Let's take a look. I assume that thing's still good. Screws corroded right there. Huh. Well, that is confusing. This, the black line on this is connected to the neutral, and the white is connected to the line, the, 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 the power. Well, I mean, he, the guy told me it did work. So I'm assuming that this is correct. So that means when I cook, I gotta remember this now. And the white is, is it thicker? I can't tell, but that is just, why would they do that? So I got no screws for this thing. I guess I could use the screws from this one. All right, so let's take this and this. We'll just put it right in there like that. I mean, I highly doubt anybody tried to fix this and like put the, put the wires back in incorrectly. All right, so let's put this in here. Oh, wait a second. Mm. No, it doesn't reach. That doesn't reach. Well, I'll tell you what, we should not even screw around here and we should just pull this before we 
you go two nuts. Am I getting the wrong one here? Yeah, before we go two nuts, let's just plug this thing in and see if it works. All right. So I assume that. And we got nothing. Oh, we gotta hit this button right here. Okay. Well, it works. Jesus, let's get the hell out of me. So this thing was on. Yes. Oh, all right. Well. Well, that works. The light. The, there's a, the light is on. Okay. Great. <laughs> well, that worked out. All right. Let's. Uh, let me just. You know, make sure this thing is all tightened up, and then we can run some water through this, test it out. Oh, it's kind of like a soap. That's really cool. You can put soap in there. Maybe we should try that. Put the soap in. Just car wash soap. And it, it looks like it's just gravity fed. We immediately had an explosion right here on the handle. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like one of these warranty stickers. All right, so let's think about this here. I mean, you can hear it. Is there? It's absolutely not holding pressure. It's going to leak a lot, but once we pull the trigger, I think it should work, and we'll see if we can actually get this thing to go, and all we need to do is order a new wand. Uh, basically, no pressure because everything is leaking. Alright, let's order a new wand. So that would be, new wand is like 30 bucks. Comes with all the tips and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the plug was whatever, 20 bucks or something like that. So 50 bucks and we get this thing back rolling again. Eh, it might be worth it. All right, let's do it. <coughs> Okay, so this is a uh, Jackson uh, wheelbarrow. This is the uh, 10.4 cubic foot wheelbarrow. It's a dual, dual wheel, see that? It's definitely pretty shot. Let me flip this thing over here. Yeah, so, you know, I didn't even realize this. I thought I knew it was broken over here, right? Yeah, I, I knew it was broken there, but I didn't see that it was actually broken here, too. Uh, and it looks like there's a bolt missing there. And this is kind of loose. And so I ordered new handles for this thing. I ordered these, these metal ones right here. These are like unbreakable handles, basically. Um, like 50 bucks for this pair, Vulcan, I think it is, just on Amazon. And you might say, 50 bucks, holy moly, for a set of handles. Well, they're metal. And second of all, look up the price of this wheelbarrow. I'll link it in the description. If you think I'm fixing a $200 wheelbarrow, a uh, wheelbarrow with if it's $50 handles, you are incorrect. This thing is not even close to $200. It's uh, a whole hell of a lot more than that. Okay. Seems like everything's just half inch.
I'm also not a fan of these carry bolts, but there's kind of nothing you can do about it. Um, well, we could change them into flatheads pretty easily. Alright, so to change these into flatheads, pretty simple. You just take a grinder. And you just uh, just just put a uh, just put a grind a groove right right down the center. It's that simple. I have the guard taken off that, which I never do. I'll probably just turn them all into flatheads. Now, now, yep. off by a good bit right here. If you watched my my shop rebuild video, you saw that I bought like a bulk, like supply of old nuts and bolts and washers and. Just screws and stuff. It, um, a, a woman was selling it. It was her husband's. Husband passed away it was 10 years ago or something like that. And um, I had it on Facebook Marketplace and I, I, I don't know, I spent a couple hundred bucks. Uh, maybe for the hardware it was about $150. It was so worth it. I have used it so many times. I had a carriage bolt that's exact perfect length and I had a nut to go with it just absolutely mint I just boom dropped this in I just replaced a, a, a bolt over here perfect it was just it was so worth it you go to the hardware store first of all it just takes time to go to the hardware so it's a real annoyance uh, it's a real annoyance to go to the hardware store but also it's um, it costs money this freaking it's expensive Something's not right here. Oh, this is not even close. So let's look at this here. Oh, Jesus. Would you look at that? Okay, so we need to put a bend. We need to make this one look like this. This thing's all bent up and actually it works because it's all bent up. So we got to put a pretty good bend in this thing. I don't think it was supposed to look like this, but it's going to look like that now. Let's get this thing in here. Now I wonder if this is just going to pinch it. Let's see what happens. kind of pinching it, but I don't think that really matters too much. Oh yeah, this is... It's... All right, it seems pretty close. We just need to get this bent just a hair. That's 
should do it. That's that's pretty close. I mean, there's a little pinch mark here because I didn't put. I should have put a bar maybe or something, so that I could, you know, bend it more evenly. So you could see there's a there's a space here. But I don't think that should matter. I think all that matters is is that this hole lines up with this and this lines up with that, which it does. See that? It's perfect here and here. That should do it. Yeah. This will probably work. So I don't think it's smart to like tighten this stuff up until we actually get everything together and then we'll go through and tighten everything. That's smart. You know one of these things hasn't been used much because uh, the, the caps for the air are still on there. I think we gotta take that off. All right, we still got some work to do here. <clears throat> All right, so we need two new cotter pins. Yep, that's gonna work. Okay, let's take this nonsense off. Okay, it's 160 pounds. We're about to drop in here. I assume it'll be fine. Seems like it's a direct replacement for that other one. I wonder what causes those seals to break. Okay. This tip sucks. Let's get a new tip. 
has this little carabiner on it, which I guess is handy, because then you can just hook these things onto here. Okay, so let's get this one off. What's gonna happen here? Is this thing gonna explode on me? No, okay. twisted up and it's making my life very difficult. Okay, well this thing's working good now. It you know, seems like it. Uh, I, if you believe it, this thing was 300 bucks new. I would not recommend buying one of these. I'm gonna link it in the description just so you can see it. Do not buy this thing. It's junk, I would say. Is it worth 50 bucks to me? Probably. Um, it's worth 50 bucks. It's got the soap container, which is nice. And the one that I have over there, uh, that like Sun Joe one, 1450, no soap, no nothing. That one's really small though. It's kind of cool to just throw in the back of a truck. This one you can still throw in the truck, but it's definitely bigger. Yeah, these, 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 these electric ones, I don't know. They, they all kind of like are annoying because they got two long cords and you just never know what to do with these stupid things. Personally, I think these cords should be shorter because you can always put an extension cord on it. Uh, it would really reduce the clutter. This just, it's a, always a rat's nest when you put these things away. But this thing's working all right. For 50 bucks, it's, it's worth it. We got those, uh, that wheelbarrow fixed up. Um, we spent 50 bucks on that too, but yeah, that wheelbarrow's cost more than this, <laughs> this, this pressure washer. So, and that doesn't really, that's not gonna have a problem probably ever again. It seems like we'll be good there unless the bucket breaks, but. I assume they make those things really strong if they're going to charge that kind of money. All right, well, uh, if you stayed until the end of the video, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, catch you on the next one. See ya.